Up next on the Young Escape Podcast. One of the musicians in this band is just beelining it, like head down, not really looking where he's going. And I try to sidestep him. He looks up and sees me, places his hand on my chest and pushes me off the side of the loading ring. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> and I'm talking, I'm like four feet off the ground here. Oh and I didn't, gosh. I landed on my feet, but I was just like, are you kidding me? Welcome to Thank you so very much. Oh, let me tell you. That never gets old. That one never gets old. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Young Escape Podcast. I am your host, Chaz. And in this episode, McKenna and I had a hilarious and juicy conversation with David Blasco. We talked about how David and TYE met on tour, what the best tour pranks were, David's hip hop project, and get ready for this one biggest man butts on tour. So make sure you stick around for that one. But first, you already know I have to give a quick thank you to our sponsors Nike. Adidas, Google, Gatorade, and Oreos. Thank you so much for supporting the podcast and doing what you do. Now, we're going to go into our section, TYE Updates, with McKenna Johns from The Young Escape. McKenna, McKenna, McKenna. Chaz, Chaz, Chaz. Thank you for being here. Thank you. This is our section, yep. TYE Updates. TYE Updates. Tell the fans. What you been up to, McKenna? Well, you know, it's been hard with what our world is going through right now to have, like, a ton of new, you know... Just right. a completely new update, but right. we've been home, obviously. This is like right. week three for us that we've been home. It's been kind of crazy, but we've been doing lots of Skype rides. And so go. we've been riding a ton with amazing creatives around Nashville. And honestly, I think some of these songs are really going to... We're, we're making a record right now, and so I think that a lot of these songs are going to end up making the cut for that, and we're really excited about them. You know the question, McKenna. When is the album coming out? I know. Out? Everyone <laughs> asks that. Everyone asks that and it's been hard and due to reasons outside of our control there have been it's just been a long time since we've released music and right. we just decided this year like we're not there's no more letting our songs going go unheard like we're not gonna let our songs go unheard anymore and now you even share like some of the unreleased secret stuff in the yeah. tye grid discord community right yes and if you have discord discord is a free iPhone app that you can right. download from the app store. It's really easy, easy to make an account and you can invite your friends to this community. There's about like, I don't know, 300 people in there right now. Yeah. Is it about Talking that? all the time. Talking all the time. There's a prayer room and in our home channel, like we usually, yeah, we actually shared. So our unreleased song better, we actually shared that with them first. And so any, any new things, any new news updates, anything, it all goes there first. And so um, yeah, we just, we love that community. They're all so much fun. They have game nights every week, which there is really go. cool. Right. And they're super cool people. Like our, our mods are the best and admins. And, um, it's just like a really great place for, especially now during COVID-19, like this crisis, like if you need friends, you should download discord and join the TYE grid, which is also available. You have access to that when you download our iPhone app. And so there you, go. you get access right there. Otherwise you have to wait till we post the link. Oh, there you go. So you have Instagram. to get you have to get, so you the, have iPhone to get the iPhone app. And so yeah. the iPhone app will be linked in the description. Yes, and so that's yeah. So our our iPhone app's amazing. You can shop our store there and everything. And then we also actually this is new, Chaz. We came out with an an Alexa skill. And oh. uh, if you say, "Hey Alexa, open the Young Escape," and once it opens on your Alexa, you'll get to hear all the latest episodes of our podcast and oh, there some you updates go. from us. So that's yeah. fantastic. It's yes. absolutely fantastic. You know, I have an Alexa. Do you really? Uh, yeah, I do. That's uh, cool. Well, yes, I do. It's a little yeah. make, it's a little makeshift thing. I, yeah. I'm working on it. It's a prototype. I'm okay. an entrepreneur. Yeah. You know, I'm a little mm-hmm. bit of an mm-hmm. But yeah, anyway, thank you, McKenna, for joining us. Thank you, Chaz. And, uh, we'll I'm excited see you guys. for today's podcast. Yes, absolutely. This one is a juicy one, McKenna. It is. It's really juicy and hilarious. David. Thank you guys for listening. We'll see you on the next one. All right, McKenna, are you ready to get started? Yes, I am, Jazz. Well, I'm very excited. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the podcast. I'm Jazz, your host, and this is McKenna, <laughs> my co-host, right? Co-host. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. You're my co-host, yes. Yeah, let's, uh, that's what 
That's what you think. Let's not talk. Let's not even talk about it. Okay. okay. Let's not oh, even yeah, get into fine. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, introduce who we yeah. have today. Okay. So on this episode of the Young Escape podcast, we have our amazing friend David Blasco on, and he is an amazing human in the music industry, formerly the drummer mm. of Citizen Way, which is how we met him. And he wow. has recently actually been on the road on Winter Jam drumming with new song and he's also a super talented producer and writer and he's working on a 15 minute quarantine chill hop song that will be available on Bandcamp soon to help support him as he's out of work due to COVID-19 during this time. Mm. David, what's up? Oh, you know, just running low on toilet paper. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, can we give a quick round of applause for him, can I? Yeah, yeah, I let's wanna... do it, let's do it. Oh, yeah. I'll cut for myself too, love yeah. it. Yes, no. yes. Absolutely fantastic. Thanks for being on here, David, today. Um, okay, so My wait. Pleasure. Just to hop right into it, we need to tell the listeners how we met. But first, you've never met Chaz, our co host yes, right, here today. Right. So, he kind of sounds like Donald Trump to me. Yeah, well, he does well, a little bit. Really? I don't I don't think so. So tell I, so Chaz I think Chaz is Donald Trump. Chaz, tell David just a brief just who you are, how right, we yes, met. Yes. Well, David, my name is Chaz. Chaz Michael Michaels. I grew up in Antarctica and I grew up with uh <laughs> penguins and is something Sorry, what'd you say? Sorry, I was just sneezing, you know. Oh, right, okay. So about that. allergies. Right, oh, right. Yeah. We, uh, we, we, I get it, get it. I uh, grew up in Antarctica with penguins and polar bears, and, uh, you know, that explains the accent. And, uh, you know, I kind of met uh, McKenna and The Young Escape through, uh, you know, the game Club Penguin? Uh, no, but it sounds it's a very pop- beautifully strange. Yes, yeah. very popular <laughs> game. And uh, we met through a, cl- a Club Penguin convention, right, McCutton? Yeah, it was a in convention. In Dubai. Mm-hmm. Right, in Dubai. Fantastic. So that's how we met. You know, I've heard a lot about you, David, and I can't wait to learn more today in the podcast. Yeah. But, you know, some of my hobbies, I'm a big Taylor Swift fan, you know? That's a hobby? Sure. Right, you know, listening to Taylor Swift. Oh, okay. okay. All the time. Hmm. All the time. You know, I-, I talk to Luke all the time, you know? Yeah, you like Luke, huh? Well, he's a cool dude. Hmm. He's a cool dude. Well... Well, David, we got to talk about how we met. <laughs> <laughs> Just so Chaz knows. I'm sure you've heard stories from Luke since you talked to him all the time. But yes, I've heard a lot of stories. Basically, yes. we met David, The Young Escape as a band. We met David through being on tour with him yes. this past fall. But also, we knew him like a while before that. But we didn't like okay. connect, connect until this past tour that we were on. Right. Um, and uh, David, what was your first impression of us? Like, tell the people about how we first met, being on tour together, and what yeah. what your honest thoughts are about yeah, us. You know, that's what we thought. How, how honest do you want here? Do you want? Yeah, 50% all honesty, I, we 100% just, we love we love transparency. Yeah, we are all about honesty. We are on all this about podcast. that on this podcast. Yeah, one hundred percent. What a blessing. Um, yeah, but you guys first hopped on maybe a year or two ago. We had a tour with a different band, and they had to drop out for their own reasons. So you guys filled in for like the last two shows, I think. Wow. Yeah. Um, Superheroes. Saints. Yeah. And I didn't really, I kind of kept to myself because I was like, I don't know who these kids are. Yeah. You, you guys made me feel old. I'm only 30, like 31, but I was like, <laughs> dude, way too much energy. I was like, I'll just, I'll just kick back for now. Drummer's super loud. Wow. I'll just, um, yeah, those yeah, symbols. Luke, Luke he's got to calm down, yeah. right? I, I think it's great. Yeah. <laughs> of course. But then the second that. time we toured together, kind of, you know, got to know you guys a little bit and yeah. started to like, be more myself around you guys and oh, you yeah. know we progressed from me just being kind of acquaintances to you guys to like making a list of you know of all the guys on tour who has the biggest butt exactly like, so, okay so wait wait you have to read for the listeners the just I did, the ranking. i dug up the list i dug up the list okay um, go so for I, it wow so yeah it was biggest man butts on tour for citizen way young escape boys and uh the young escape dad, Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Kelly, of course. You know. Absolutely fantastic. Um, should I go from smallest to biggest butt or vice versa? How about we go biggest to smallest? Yeah, right? biggest to smallest. All right, biggest man butts on tour. First place, I am proud to say, is me. <laughs> wow. With, yeah. And we were going for overall, like, kind of plumpness, <laughs> <laughs> for lack of a better term. Like right. the criteria was you had to okay. stand up, turn around, and sort of you remember that McKenna? Just yeah, sort of I remember. It was really gently weird. Gently hike up the pants and everyone take a vote. Yeah, it's a great icebreaker. That's I was just on my phone the whole time. <laughs> you weren't voting? No, I was just on my phone, just laughing. Oh, it's it's not going to be an accurate count. Then we might have to do it over. <laughs> no, but I, I okay. So I was first place. Second place was okay. Ben, the mm-hmm. singer of Citizen Way. Okay. okay. Uh, third place was Kelly, your dad, McKenna. <laughs> Wonderful. Fourth place was Luke, your buddy wow. Luke. Chip. Wow, wow. That's a, hey, that's a 
Hey, I'm right proud. I'm proud of him. It down. Taz, yeah. I feel like you would be floor. above Luke in that range. I feel so? like you would actually be at the top. Really? You think yeah. so? Yeah. Uh, you know, yeah. I don't know what Chaz looks like, but you know. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Alexa, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> she was like, I don't know, but. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, I don't know. Uh, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so I don't fifth know. place I don't was Walter. So. Fifth place was Walter, Walter, who was our sound guy for the tour. The oh, best. Okay. Oh, okay. Walter. Okay. Shout out to Walter. Walter. Right. Sixth place was Daniel, the guitar player, former guitar player, <laughs> Citizen Way. And then right down at the bottom with this is little, <laughs> God bless his little buns, is Ryan, the guitar player of Young Escape. So that's, wow. That's, that's, that's the seven man butts of that tour uh, last Amazing. fall, I believe. <laughs> that is absolutely We're gonna fantastic. We're going to be laughing a lot on this podcast. Yeah. So, this is the best. So you asked like how I met you guys and all of a sudden we're talking about the size I of know, our I know, I know. But um, that's how, you know, I think that on tour you were such a great icebreaker. And so everyone was just themselves. Goes. I mean, mm-hmm. we had, we were up till like 3 a.m. sometimes having the craziest, weirdest conversations I've ever had with anybody. That's Any true. Anybody in my entire life. <laughs> you know, I'm actually, I feel like I can like, you know, talk more freely right now, you know, because like, yeah. you know, McKenna's very like, you know, if I like start talking too much, she'll like give me the look, you know? So, how do I give you the look if you're in Antarctica? Look. Uh, do you know, like, I can just tell. I can just tell. Oh, so, okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, well, David. Anyways, move on. David, tell us about your hip hop project and how you're continuing to create and stay productive in your quarantine. Because this is a crazy time everyone's living yes, in. It is. And how, how are you doing with it? Yeah, I've been pretty good. Um, apart from, you know, the, the initial thing is like, it's annoying to not work, yeah. <laughs> you know, being in the middle of a tour and having the, the plug pulled on it. But yeah. Yeah, so I've had a like a side project for a handful of years now since, I mean, I lost track, but a buddy of mine who's a great producer in uh, Milwaukee named Caleb Zovar, we have like an electronic kind of hip hop project called mm. Black Fuse, and uh, we are wrapping up, we're making um, a three part record, a record that we're releasing in three different chunks throughout the wow. upcoming months. We're wrapping up part one right now, the record's called Tunnels, so Tunnels part one is coming out. Uh, I don't have an official date yet, but we're wrapping that up now. And okay. Fantastic. What, we, what we've been doing differently is traditionally it's been more of an instrumental project okay. with like maybe some rappers on a track or two. This time wow, we're working with chance. vocalists on every song. So it's singers, rappers, every single track will wow. have a vocalist on it. So that's new for us. Well, David, did you know that Chaz <laughs> is actually an aspiring rapper under Chaz the Rapper? I'm... I, does not surprise me at all. Uh, you know, I mean, you know, this is like a, it's just like kind of like a little thing I'm working on. But uh, you know, I mean, if you're if you're looking at it for anybody, you know, I've told McKenna this as well. You know, if you guys are looking for anybody to have like a rap feature, I'm always available. You know, I'm, I'm so game. Yeah, you know? yeah. I'll keep uh, you, you, uh, can I'll I give you guys a quick sample? Do you mind if I give you like a quick sample? Please. Sure. Okay, By so I'll just, I'll just say like a quick line. Huh? Okay, just really quick. So it's like kind of like my Make intro rap. My intro rap. Yeah, you know, yeah. you know, Go like Chance the rapper here, not talking too loud because you know when I am there. Don't worry, don't worry, I don't bite. But if you get too close, I most wow. definitely might. Wow. Did you just make that up on the spot? I'm right on the spot. Wow, Free, that's pretty know? crazy. Like, yeah. Wow, yeah. I wasn't ready wow. for that. Uh, that well, kind of made me emotional. Wow. Actually. I mean, yeah, yeah, I think so too. Wow, that was pretty <laughs> crazy. You, you. <laughs> well, well, David, just, you know, I mean, if you need a rap, a rap feature, it's all right yeah. here. So, but well, you know, yes, hundred percent. Yeah, and you got to tell us where can we. So when all that starts to drop, where is the best place for our listeners to find that? Mm-hmm. Instagram, like, what's the best? What's yeah, the best the, place for them to go? Totally. Um. Yeah. The only social media I really have is Instagram. It's just okay. at David Blasco, and Sweet. I do. I post the Black Fuse stuff there, and like you mentioned earlier, I'm making sort of a 15 to 20 minute sort of chill hop, not quite chill hop, but just kind of vibey track, so yeah. people can just put on and kind of forget it's on, sort of thing. Yeah. And it'll be out on Bandcamp first for like a pay what you want model, because like many of us musicians i <laughs> kind of lost all my work from yeah february to summer so we're you we know feel you we feel you yeah, doing what we can but yeah so that'll be out and uh and all the black few stuff is on everything it's on spotify apple music perfect you so it, everybody so. go follow go follow them on all those outlets and and so wait what was that like because you just came off of winter jam and mm. i know like the last post i saw was like you guys were gonna cancel a weekend and you weren't sure about the rest of the weekends but then the whole tour got canceled so like who broke the news to you and like what yeah, yeah. like how, how how did that come about yeah it was pretty it was pretty gradual there wasn't like one big like dun 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 like it wasn't like <laughs> the tour is over it was like what? so yeah we uh 
it's kind of a funny story too. A quick rewind back to Winter Jam. It's like I I decided to sort of move on from Citizen Way in December. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I finished out a Christmas tour that we were doing with New Song actually, um, and I left as of the New Year. But the same day that I like announced that I was leaving Citizen Way, New Song's drummer announced that he was leaving them. And wow. they were like left in a pinch for Winter Jam, which was two weeks later. So they were just like, wow. Well, hey. So, hey, what are you doing for the next three months? And I was like, well, apparently I'm hopping on the road with you guys. So wow. it was fun to fill in with them on Winter Jam and stuff. But we were, we had about 15 or 16 shows left. Yeah. We were in Louisville. Mm-hmm. And I slept kind of late that day. I hopped off the bus, grabbed my bags, and was walking in. And then the, the, I walked past the building 429 bus. And their door just swung open, and their tour manager, his name's a lot, and he popped out and was like, don't bother, dude, it's canceled. Wow. <laughs> and I was like, oh. So we were all hanging around all day. Like, they had already unloaded the trailers and everything. Like, yeah. They were setting up the stage, whatever. That's uh, We were waiting around to hear um, about the rest of the weekend. And then, sure enough, a few hours later, the rest of the weekend got canceled. Yeah. Um, wow. So we went wow. home not knowing... Start just kind of keeping an eye on it, not knowing what was going to happen. And then about two days later, like the letter went out, like on the Winter Jam social media that they had to pull the plug. So, Uh, sorry about that, David. That's probably a huge bummer for so many people. But yeah, we feel you. We we were sad when we saw that. Yeah, all the tours slowly trickled to a death there. Yeah, (laughs) no, yeah, there's still some people out. And then a week later, they're done too. So, yeah, no, we have a rough time for musicians for sure. No, it is. We just had our tour canceled. So, that was kind of a bummer for us. But, Mm -hmm. um, we, uh, so wait, do you, because we grew up going to Winter Jam. Like, do you have any funny Winter Jam stories? Like anything that is from this, yeah, from this just year? just from this year and your experience. Oh, um, I mean, I'm sure I do. I have a story that I can I can edit so no names are mentioned. Okay, go for that one. <laughs> go for that, that one. It. It's All is right. it is it is it about Chaz? Maybe. No. No. It's not not. About that. <laughs> you don't have no, to. Just, you don't have to mention Chaz or Luke if it's if it's about them. You know. So. If it's about jazz, I'll just say it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So there's a band that that was on Winter Jam that will remain uh, nameless, <laughs> um, and they were having a rough set. This is about a week into the tour, and okay. they're the the PA is cutting out. They're all like ripping their in ears out, looking at their guys, saying like they can't hear anything. Like, what? like so, the lights weren't working. It was like it was a bit of a train wreck, and they're oh. like they're getting you know we've all been there, right? Like. Chaz, I don't know how much you perform, but right. me, and, me and McKenna have been there. Yeah, about, we've all we've well, been there. Guess, every, we've all been there. Right? We've all been there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, so they're having a really rough set. They're clearly pissed off. Um, and when this band was done, that was kind of my opportunity to get up on stage and get the drum set ready for the new song set. Yeah. Right. So they're done with their set. They're kind of storming off stage, and I'm just walking up the side stage ramp to get up to the stage like I normally do. And I see that one of the musicians in this band is just beelining it, like head down, not really looking where he's going. And I try to sidestep him. He looks up and sees me, places his hand on my chest, and pushes me off the side of the loading ramp. Oh my goodness! <laughs> and I'm talking, I'm like four feet off the ground here, oh and I didn't, God. I landed on my feet, but I was just like, "Are you kidding me?" Like, you, so wait. So the whole the whole tour, I'm seeing him like in the hallways. Like, is he gonna beat me up? I'm like, what just happened? Like, he was significantly bigger than I am, so I didn't oh really goodness. address it. But you're okay. I, you know, so far so good. David, yeah. I feel like I can laugh about this because I've already heard this story and I've already, you know, expressed my condolences to you. This is my first time. You know, I'm worried yeah. over here. Yeah, yeah Chaz, so, so we laugh about a bit of a it. Shock now. To the system there. Yeah, it is, it is, yes. Most definitely. Well, hey, I have a story. Okay, because speaking of we've all been there. Oh no. Here there was this one time on tour and David okay, David, you you're probably gonna tell this story better, so you gotta help me out with this one. But I'll interrupt you if I have to. It's last night of tour. <laughs> last night of tour. And last night of tour mm. means pranks. Okay. And so at least on this tour, it did. On multiple tours, like we've never really done it just because we didn't want to make anyone mad or upset. Right. Um, Some so bands that, aren't down. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Sometimes people take things like really personally. But this tour was like, guys, let's just prank each other. Last night of tour. <laughs> what the heck? And so David, for our set, like I'm the whole day, I'm trying to figure out what he's going to do. And then as we're walking out on stage for our intro, I'm the last one to walk out. And so Kirsten and Ryan walk out, Luke walks out. And then all of a sudden after like Luke goes, David follows him onto the stage. Oh my goodness. goodness. And then he lays face down in the front of the stage where Luke's Luke's bass drum was. 
Base kick, base kick. And it was it's a open. shallow stage too. Yeah, very shallow stage. So we had like no room to stand. And so when I finally walk out, David's just laying face down where I'm supposed to be standing. And I'm standing like literally like my feet, my heels are touching him. And I'm Get just trying to sing. I took up like half of the real estate you had available to you. Yeah. And I was hoping, I was like, oh, hopefully after the first verse, he's going to leave because I can't stop nope. laughing. Like I couldn't nope. hold it together. And he was there he for the for whole song. The whole song. All of Love Me Like. <laughs> you he was just laying face down and the crowd like i was looking at them and they were just kind of looking at me with like blank yeah blank expressions on their face that's the best yeah that's so they the were oh they were goodness. really uncomfortable with it and which, i was motionless yeah i didn't move a muscle you didn't move at all and that probably felt like an eternity <laughs> that you were up there <laughs> oh i was gonna do it for the whole set but i would have been i would have lost it <laughs> certain people asked me not to Wow. Do it at all. So I said, I said, okay, uh, I'll tune it down. I'll like, I'll trim it down to one song. To one song. So, but kind of when he was doing this, were you like, what is this guy doing? Well, yeah, because I thought I was gonna step on. I think I might have stepped on you, you a did, couple like, times. Twice, yeah. Yeah. Oh my, <laughs> my own fault though. <laughs> that's how. That's how like narrow the stage was, and so yeah, there was no room. It was very all. hard, but it was really funny. Like I, I can't like I'm really hard at not laughing. Like I can't really contain that, and so. Yeah, that really got yeah. me really bad. I have a video I have a video of it. And my favorite <laughs> part is like towards the end of the song, it's a really energetic part. Like <laughs> Ryan's like jumping, like headbang yeah. or whatever. It's like the pyro, like the cryo tanks go off. Yeah, yeah. And it's clearly <laughs> supposed to be this really epic high energy moment, but there's just this lifeless guy laying on the Yeah, stage. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Absolutely. My there's, there's got to be a way for you guys to like post a screenshot of that for the podcast. I think I think we should. Yeah, definitely when we promote it, that's got to go up. <laughs> do you mind if I tell a prank story of mine? From sure, tour? Please do. Because you know, you know, it. of course, I'm, I'm a rapper, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm a rapper, and I go on tour. I tour, you know. Oh, <laughs> it's you not, do? Like, it's not major shows. Not, I didn't nothing know major, that. You know, I'm just getting. Started. So what is it? Is it clubs? Yeah, the like clubs. You know, a couple of festivals here and there. You know? Bar mitzvahs. <laughs> right, right. right. Uh, but you know. One time I was playing the show, and, you know, get this. <laughs> so there's this guy. His name is his name is uh, you know, it's not big names, you know. Okay. It, Drake's not playing with me, you know. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. But there's this guy. His name was uh, Shallow Steve. Shallow Steve. <laughs> yeah, and he was. <laughs> I don't know. Well, I didn't even tell the joke yet. That's just oh. a great name. Oh, yeah, no, it's wonderful. Well, I'm just glad that yeah, that shout exists. Out, yeah, shout out to Shallow because he was he was pretty great. Big and shout uh, out. you know, I met him before. And we, we 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 went back and forth, right? Yeah, okay. You know, I kind of got to know Shallow. Yeah. And uh, so no big deal. Yeah, right, right. And so I play I play after you know because okay. I'm the headliner yeah. obviously. Oh, okay. And, you know, so, uh, okay. So Shallow goes on when he's playing his set, and I'm like, I'm gonna prank him. You know, yeah. last minute. You know, last song, I'm gonna prank him. I grab one of the drum cases because he he has like oh, the okay. you know like the hard drum cases. Yeah. And it was like the kick drum case. Oh wow. Yeah, and I was on the you know like the little top level places where you can go backstage sometimes. Yeah. I was on top of there. Oh wow. Right. Wow, and, Jess. And I just tossed it down, you know. And I was I, <laughs> I was thinking it was just gonna land right next to him and just kind of spook him, right? Um, it landed right on top of him. <laughs> right on top. Uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> Yes, it actually ruptured his spleen, what? shattered a little bit of his spine and his rectum. No. <laughs> Shallow Steve. Yeah, what are the chances that that would happen? Right, I mean, you know. It's almost like it didn't happen. Did but you, it did. wait, wait, did you get right. in trouble yes, for that? Yes, it did happen. Uh, <laughs> you no, had to have gotten no, in trouble. No, my team and I, we bolted. We got in the van and we, we left. Uh, but I haven't well, heard from him since. Left the scene you of the haven't crime. heard from him since? No, but. You did know, you ever reach out to him? No. I couldn't. Oh, yeah. Chaz, you should probably do that. <laughs> well, I think like all of it. I think he like w went off the grid. You know, no more social media, nothing. Oh, yeah. Wow. Well, did you kill him? Uh, you know, <laughs> I don't know. You should, you should be ashamed <laughs> of yourself, Chaz. I know we just met, but that's cold, I mean, man. I mean, if, you know, if his management hears us. Yeah. Yeah, we're, Chaz. We're gonna I have think, a discussion. Yeah, I think. Mm -hmm. Man, I think it was that, it was funny at the moment, right? No, you know, because when it hit him, it, when it hit him, it was like, oh, you know, well, the, when it stayed down, <laughs> and he didn't get back up. It's funny as long as it doesn't happen That's to you. That's terrible. Right? Yeah. Right. That's anyways, really anyways, bad, enough Chaz. about enough about me. That's really enough bad. About, enough about me. Let's talk about enough about shallow. You know, we don't want to, we don't want to toot his horn too much. Okay. Let's move on. Um. Okay. So I guess I should go to the last question. This feels kind of weird now. That was just weird, Chaz. It's quite a segue, yeah. Yeah, it's no definitely. No, sorry if I made it awkward. No, I didn't mean to make it awkward. It's okay. Um, 
<laughs> yeah, you should probably reach out to him or some or some somehow find out something. Yeah, uh, the management. I don't know. Sent an email. Uh, who cares? Who cares? Let's move um, on. <laughs> David, so you're super hilarious. Obviously, as all the listeners can can tell just through this podcast. I but, told you that. <laughs> but <laughs> you've also got a ton of depth, and I remember just having awesome conversations with you on the road and even about like anxiety, all this stuff. But um, mm. what's a piece of advice that you'd give? Because we've got a lot of young listeners out there who maybe they want to be a musician or a creative or a writer, a producer, a drummer, like anything. Just what would you say um, to encourage those young listeners out there? Yeah. Um, man, I didn't even pay you to say that about me. It's so true. Like, How it's about so that? true. Like, I didn't even have to bribe you. Wow. <laughs> um well, you know, there's the there's the basic stuff like just listen to good music. So like, you know, avoid music like The Young Escape or yeah. Citizen Away. Yeah. Or, <laughs> wow. You know, stuff like that. All that. Um, you, hey, you said it's an honest podcast. No, it's good. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, man, that's a that's an interesting question. Yeah. It's. I know it's a big one. I think the the biggest thing is sort of at least for me, you know, I'm no. I'm not perfect at what I do. I'm no like expert, but it's it's like for me it's important to sort of figure out who you are creatively. Yeah. You know, like what's your artistic voice, but whether you're a drummer, or producer, or singer, or whatever, like at first it starts out sort of mimicking your heroes, you know. Right. Everyone goes through that stage, like when you're a teenager or whatever. But I think it's important to even if you want to be in pop music or more mainstream music, like you know, you can you can be a sort of a mediocre copy of Justin Bieber, or you can be the best version of you there is. You mm. know what I mean? Like it's That's like so good. you can be a ripoff of Taylor Swift, or you can be the only McKenna Johns out there. You know yeah. what I mean? That sort of stuff. So that yeah. that's always been important to me. Like I love not that. originality for the sake of it, but just what do you what do you have to offer that no one else has? Because you're an individual, yeah. like like Chaz, you know. Yeah, like Chaz. There's only one Chaz. I can tell already. Yeah, and what would you? Okay, so since you're in, <laughs> since you. you're you're doing your own hip hop thing, like, what is some advice that you would give to Chaz? Right. Yeah, I was actually gonna ask because you know even McKenna, you know, you guys are both in the music industry. You yeah. know your way around the industry. Yeah. What is like your guys' advice for me? You know, because I'm just like a struggling artist trying to get my name out there. Yeah. I'd, I'd start by not assaulting your tour mates. That'd be a good. <laughs> uh, yes. And then fleeing the scene right. of the crime. Well, that only happened once, right? You I mean, sociopath, jeez. Yeah. That only happened okay. once. <laughs> Yeah, start by not attacking people. Right, yeah, right. And, yeah. Okay and then, one. and then, yeah, man, just you know, follow your dreams. <laughs> <laughs> well, yes, well, right. That's that's no, Chaz, I that's because fair. I think it's all about cool relationships too. Like, I mean, right. this relationship this, we have with yes, David. This is amazing. Like, you know? The conversations that we would have on the bus late at night, or conversations, conversations in green rooms, anything like those things are that's like your family on the road so if right. you want to develop family on the road i would probably not pull those kinds of pranks on someone that you just met you so know you're saying like you're saying uh you know friendship is friendship the best, is the key in this industry i mean it's 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 definitely one of the things like you should just be good at friendships anyway right. Just, yes. just in life, you know. Well, you know, I'm very isolated out here in Antarctica. I don't have many friends, so I'm working on it. All right. So you, you know don't. Saying. Maybe that's why he did it. Maybe he's not very used to peopling. You know. Right. Well, are you attacking penguins then instead? Like, who are you? Oh no, I would never attack my my fellow my fellow brethren. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh but you know, uh, you Good. know, like, uh, but kind of, I was telling you, uh, this is actually kind of embarrassing, but okay. I also want to get David's advice on this too. You know. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. I was telling you in the other podcast, I was meeting with Atlantic, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the you ocean? Know, the, the, no, the, 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 the record label. The record label. Oh, okay. Right, you know, I got an email from them and I thought it was the real deal, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, are you... Yeah, and I was like, yeah, it turns out it was a hoax. Oh, I'm sorry, Yeah, their, their, G, their Gmail turned or their email turned out to be uh, uh, Atlantic99 at gmail.com. Yeah, yeah, that's not them. Yeah, it wasn't. Yeah, that's not them. That's yeah, not that's Atlantic. not them. I'm sorry, Chaz. Yeah. Well, Whatever. Chaz, I think too. I think too, like David. I'm not sure. Like on in the past of this podcast. I mean, Chaz, how long have we been doing this podcast together? A couple of years now. It's been I mean, a couple of years now, but I, I remember in the beginning, like there was even a time when you faked that you sold out Madison Square Garden. 
Yes. And I, just, I, I think that it's. I don't like that. Yeah. Can I, I don't like that oh, okay. topic a lot. Well, I'm just Do saying, that. I just think that it's very important to just be as honest as you can and just, you have to just get better as a person, you know? Be better. What? Yeah, Chaz. Well, now I'm feeling a little assaulted. You know, no, no, virtually. no. I'm just, we're just giving you advice because you asked for it. So Okay. Okay. But Chaz, we love you. We believe in you. Our listeners believe in you. We want oh, you to go you. far. Thank you. Yes. And I think Chaz the rapper is going to go far. Thank you. Oh, I really appreciate that. You know, and, uh, you know, you know. One of my favorite things I always go back to is uh, uh, what's a step up. This is actually a quote from Taylor Swift. You know, one oh. of my biggest inspirations. Uh, and what's your a, hobby? Yeah. Yes, my hobby. Uh, what's a step <laughs> up from beautiful? You, you, uh, gorgeous. gorgeous. Yes, that's right. Gorgeous. <laughs> yeah. So what? Well said. Yeah. I always just no, go back to amazing. you know. I always go back to that circle around it. It's a full circle yeah. moment, you know. No, that's important. I think. Um, yeah. No, that's great, Jazz. That's great. Good advice. Yeah. No, that's amazing. Well, David, thank you so much for being on this podcast, thank you. guys. You need to go mm. follow David on Instagram. Be on the lookout for his latest releases because they're amazing. We love David. David, thank you for being an amazing friend yeah, to us. Thank and you so we can't much. wait to see when we're out of quarantine. Yeah, That'll when, be fun. When the when the apocalypse is over, we can watch exactly. some scary movies again. Yeah, we, we can need to watch Chaz. scary movies. Yeah, can Chaz. I, yeah. Can I do it sometime with the guys? Yeah, too? Chaz. When you become yeah. a US citizen. Yes. That's I'm I'm trying. Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, we'll make it happen. Scary awesome. movie night. We can't wait. It'll be great. But yes. Thank, thanks for inviting me. It gave me an excuse to, you know, put some pants on. So. Yeah. Well, oh, that's amazing. Well, it was yeah. a to go. Yeah. It's a good day for everyone. I, for know, I know I don't have pants on, but you know. fantastic. Yeah. I thought, but, you know, I thought I could hear that. Yeah. yeah. It is. It is what it is. Hello? Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, thank you so much, David, for coming on the podcast. My pleasure. It was uh, d- very strange. Thanks, Jess. Yeah. No problem. Thank you guys so much for listening, and we'll see you on the next one. Yeah, thank you guys for listening to this episode of the Young Escape Podcast. And Chaz, how about you just just freestyle for us, oh, just to close us oh. out? Oh, don't mind if I do. The story stop with Chaz when he's breaking down the beat. Don't mess around with Chaz, you might see me on TV. I'm shaking, I'm making, no time. I'm thinking, I'm making these beats. So I'm going to make it because it's me, yeah. I'm freaking Chaz the rapper, what you gonna do about it? Okay, I'd say that in a second, drop the beat. <laughs>